everyone, welcome to News Extra, and we're talking about child safety specifically inside a vehicle. Of course, there are state guidelines and federal guidelines with what you need to have as far as child safety seats and booster seats. And I have Scottsboro Police Officer Bobby Kuhlman with me today to talk about the subject. Thank you for joining us. I'm so glad to be here. Now, the law changed last year yes. with regards to children that have to be in car seats. They actually increased it to where older and, and even slightly larger kids still have to be in seats, correct? Yes, that uh, happened. That went into effect January 1 of 2019. And uh, explain those rules of the, as they now stand, because some people may or may not be cognizant of that fact. So up to age two, you're required to be rear facing if the height and weight limits of your car seat are okay with that. Um, previous, it was age one. Um, actually, uh, the APA recommends um, keeping rear facing as long as possible. Um, the other thing that changed was up to age eight, you are required to be in a booster or a car seat of some kind, as long as um, your child meets the height and weight requirements for that. Mm -hmm. And also up to age eight has to be in the back seat, as long as there's a back seat space available for the child. And of course that, that had changed, the, especially the age and the height and the weight um, changes. Something that might have caught some people off guard at the beginning of this year. Correct. Yes. <laughs> now, when, yes. it, when, it, when it came to enforcement of that, obviously you're out on patrol and, and, and you encounter people uh, with their children in the car. Um, what's been the reaction to, that people have had to the, to the changes? Uh, some people didn't know. Um, we did have some seven-year-olds that weren't in booster seats because they had aged out of the law previously. But since they weren't eight yet, they did kind of age back in, per se, to be in a booster seat. Um, so some people didn't know, some people were aware of it, um, some people thought that they had grandfathered in, that it only counted for people that hadn't already aged out of a booster seat. So it's just giving them that education, letting them know that the law has changed and, and making that available to them. Yeah, and of course, as you had mentioned, the, there was no grandfathering clause no. with this. It, I mean, very, very, when it comes to children of, of that age and size, very difficult to, you know, it's not like when we went from um, 19 to 21, I think it was on the uh, alcohol um, age limit. Nope, there was a grandfathering that took place then. A little bit different Correct. situation but here. Not this time. No, no not and this time. And as we know, kids that age, um, some of them, well, all kids, vary in size, weight, height. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can have an eight-year-old that's 50 pounds. You can have one that's closer to 100 pounds sometimes. Oh, sure. So. So there's that difference there as well. Yeah, definitely. Now, uh, the Scottsville Police Department does free car seat checks every month. Yes, the last Saturday of every month from 9 a.m. to noon. We are at the Scottsville Public Safety Building, myself and some guys with the fire department. Uh, we have some volunteers that come in too to check your car seat and, and get you on your way. Okay, and uh, we'll be back on News Extra in just a moment to get a little bit more details on that. Uh, there's actually a, also an opportunity for uh, people to uh, become a certified car seat checker yes. and uh, we'll be back in just a moment with more on that. And we're back on News Extra and I have Scottsville Police Officer Bobby Kuhlman with me. We are talking about child safety inside automobiles, um, child safety seat checks that take place at the end of every month at the uh, Scottsville Public Safety Building. Correct. Generally what time do those uh, happen? From 9 a.m. to noon. And uh, of course when this takes place uh, they're going to take a look at your child's booster seat or safety seat. Mm -hmm. Now, some folks may not be of the means to be able to get uh, an approved one or, or an upgraded one if, if theirs doesn't meet the standards. Are there ways that people can get help with that? Yes, um, we do have seats available at our, our checkup events. We don't have a large number available. We do have a few. So if, if you are in need of one, please come early because we usually run out before um, noon. Uh, we do have those available. Our program runs on uh, grants and donations, so if you feel led to give us something for our program, we would appreciate that. Uh, if you're not able to make a donation, we'll provide you a seat for free. Uh, we also have some vouchers out there in our community at ESU 13, Sixpence, and uh, Capwin. Mm -hmm. uh, so if, if you're a part of one of those programs and you need a seat, they can give you a voucher and you can just bring it on over to us to get you a seat. Yeah, I was amazed. Um, uh, we recently became grandparents, my wife and I, and I was amazed at actually some of the prices on some of these seats are yes. pretty expensive. Yes, um, we do have parents question that a lot. I will tell you the most expensive seat at Walmart and the cheapest seat at Walmart, they're both going to keep your kids safe. So mm -hmm. don't feel like you have to 
buy the most expensive one or you're not keeping your kids safe. The cheapest one passes the same standards as the most expensive one. Oh, that's, that's excellent yeah. to know, excellent. Uh, and of course, uh, there is always the need for assistance for doing these yes. uh, car seat checks. And, and people can actually become certified to help you guys do these. Correct, anyone can be a child passenger safety technician. It's between a three and a four day class. Uh, we do them several times a year here in the state of Nebraska. Um, they do, they did some in Wyoming, just right across the border last year. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love to have you um, take that class and be part of our team. Is there a place they can go to find out when those take uh, place? Yes, safekidsnebraska.org. I believe it is. Okay. Um, and I try to post them as much as we can on the Scotts Bluff Police Department Facebook page and share those as well. And of course, we are naturally heading into the holidays. Mm -hmm. Something for people to keep in mind of that um, it may not be hot outside, but you definitely don't leave your kids in a car Absolutely. when you're out shopping. Yeah, never ever leave your kids alone in the car um, unsupervised. Uh, just a lot of things can happen, but yeah. um, safety is, is our main concern. So that's uh, child safety inside the vehicle, specifically with uh, child safety seat checks that take place at the uh, last Saturday the of, last Saturday. of yep. every, of next every month. Our one is November 23rd. And uh, that starts up at what time? 9 a.m. And goes until noon, that, and yep. goes until noon, and uh, you can have your uh, child's safety seat checked. Uh, the standards do change from time to time, so mm -hmm. not a bad idea. Even if you think it is uh, uh, making the grade, not a bad idea to say. It that. might not be. Also, I do want to say, if you come in for our check, plan on spending about 20 to 30 minutes there. If that's how long it takes to, to check each seat. Yeah, uh, and that's very important for your child's safety as well as your own as you're out and about traveling. Bobby, thank you very much for Thanks joining for us on News Extra. Me. Thank you.